they're great. You know, I, you hit on it in the prior segment that people were really nervous about the PC sales, about the graphics cards. That segment looks really strong. The guide for the next quarter looks really strong. And gross margins were pretty much where we expect them to be. So, you know, when the, you think about the three things that people are really focused on for this quarter, I'd say it's a pretty good report. Yeah, why has the stock been down so much? Well, you know, it, it's dealing with the same problems that's endemic to the market, which is you had pretty high valuations in a rising interest rate environment, and then you have decelerations in the economy. And so when you think about, you know, valuations coming in and uncertainty about earnings growth, you know, what will be the E and the PE ratio, semiconductors trade with those concerns on steroids. So, you know, it's you could say that AMD and a lot of other semiconductors maybe went a little too far, a little too fast. But at these levels, if if the economy holds and if these trends in, in data center growth and computing growth uh, hold, you know, these stocks are pretty reasonably valued here. AMD specifically is pretty reasonably valued here. Yeah, I'm thinking of, you know, the PC market. I know what on the surface looks pretty good. Um, we still have to listen to Lisa Sue talk about that. Clearly, um, it is an environment that doesn't look all that great. It, but it's hard to say. There are nuances, Scott, because uh, a lot of the weakness we've seen has been on the low end. It's been in Chromebooks. Uh, it has not been in the, in the, in the higher end uh, part of the segment where AMD plays more. And, and one other thing that I think investors should consider, and it's a big part of our investment thesis, is even if the PC market weakens, AMD is poised to get so much share in the data center from Intel in higher margin products that there's a really good chance you get an offset. So, I mean, maybe they don't beat them raise every single quarter to the, the, the degree to which they have been because it's been really spectacular, but there's a really big offset, a positive offset in AMD's business that could really power them through a weaker PC cycle. That's what happens, though, when you're Lisa Sue and you knock the cover off the ball and your stock is one of the best performers and you're taking share from Intel and others, the bar just goes whoop, whoop, whoop. It keeps going higher and higher. I mean, at some point in an environment, you're going to disappoint the most optimistic expectations. I, totally. But now that we're about 20 times next year's earnings, a lot of that disappointment's been priced in or a lot of that concern has been priced in. So, you know, on a risk-reward basis, we like the bet with AMD here. We think the data center continues to grow. There's no signs of slowdown from at Microsoft or Google uh, or obviously Amazon. And AMD is going to be getting share for the next three or four years. So, you know, it's a pretty good story. Yeah, what, what's your top uh, chip stock right now? Is it, is it AMD or is it something else? No, it, it, AMD is our largest chip position right now. That's correct. Mm. How about more broadly in technology? How, how do you see the space, which has gotten beaten up pretty bad? I don't know if you heard Howard Marks last hour with Sarah suggesting that at least the most, uh, the areas with the most excess have gotten beaten up pretty good. Yeah, exactly. Those low earnings, no earnings sort of companies, the ones that are trading, were trading, were trading on 20, 30, 40 times price to sales multiples have absolutely gotten wrecked. And of course, it's pulled down everything, right? Microsoft doesn't quite have the multiple today that it did six months ago. Neither does Google. But you look at some of these names, and I think it was last week uh, we were talking about Google and Microsoft, our two largest positions, especially Google. 20 times earnings for Google. I'm willing to bet that Google can grow earnings 15% a year for the next five years or some average like that. And 20 times multiple, this is a pretty good price. So, you know, it depends. You have to parse valuation uh, depending on the company, right? Some companies are still really expensive. Some companies, mm -hmm. the moderation, the great normalization that the economy is going through, it's been priced in. And, and this is what active investors have to do is sort through, you know, all of this noise and find those names where you can find solid returns going forward. So, you know, you, you feel can't better. treat that all the same. Uh, I'm basically. sorry. I'm sorry.